Hey guys, welcome to the Geedunk. We just saw the prequel to the Kingsman series, The Kingsman. Yeah, we did, everybody. Is this movie the kind of blockbuster prequel we've been hoping for for this franchise? Stick around, because we're about to find out. All right, The Kingsman. Billy, who's in this movie? Hey, man, we had a great cast. A lot of good English actors in this, and uh, even a German actor we got going here. We had, uh, who do we have? We had Jamon Hansu, phenomenal, mm-hmm. right? Ray Fiennes, yep. good and love that guy. Charles Dance, another great actor, and, you know, old school actor, freaking awesome. Love that guy. And then we got... Uh, Tom Hollander. Yeah, Tom Hollander, yep, from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah, <laughs> one of the villains in that. Yeah, man. And we got uh, Daniel Brühl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we got uh, from Re- the Marvel Universe, right? That's right. That's right. And then we got Reese Siphons. We got I me mean, who played uh, Rasputin in this. We got I man a ton of good actors. We man. even had Stanley Tucci. Did My we? boy Tucci. Who did Tucci play in this? We played the uh, ambassador. Oh, I was yeah. Tucci, man. Didn't recognize <laughs> I didn't Tucci. Even catch that. That was Tucci. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, yeah. Good. Not a major role, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he was in it. Good catch, man. I didn't even catch old Tucci in yeah. there. Yeah. And I thought James McAvoy, but yeah, yeah, not yeah we so both much. did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like you, know, you go to this old movie, dude. That main villain is James McAvoy, and it's like, man, when they finally, I mean, you, you understand why they didn't show him throughout the movie, but, yeah. You know, but at the same time, it's kind of like, damn, I was kind of hoping that was James. I McAvoy. I don't know why, but like his voice or whatever, I was thinking it was James McAvoy. They have like kind of like a yeah. hidden villain in this one, and. They don't show his face for the longest time, so it keeps you wondering. And I thought it was going to be James McAvoy, yeah, so but then I, I mean, start thinking, well, that doesn't make sense because are they just hiding the actor to hide the actor? <laughs> right, right. Well, they, well, even when they kept showing shots of the back of his head, man, it just reminded you of Professor X, right? We played Professor X. I was like, yeah, man, I think that's McAvoy, too. I was seeing the exact same thing. So it's, it's funny. We get in the car, and this dude's like, man, I thought that was McAvoy. I was like, man, that's what I thought, too. <laughs> Now, what you what is your history with the Kingsman series in general? Yeah, I thought you know the first one I thought was really good. Second one was okay. You know, I mean, I enjoyed them both. I thought they were both. I mean, a lot of, I mean, I will say the acting is great in both movies. You know, I mean, I think they picked a great cast for both movies. You know, the actors are always definitely. phenomenal in this series. You know, and uh, so so the acting in these movies definitely carries the weight. You know, of the movies. But then there's also there's also a lot of good action though. Well, I, I don't know the action. I think I, I like is the really action, phenomenal. Man. Yeah, absolutely, a lot of good action in these movies. And this one was no was no no different. I mean, there there wasn't as much action in this one as there was in the others. I think, but the action that we did see in this was great, man. I mean, I mean the just the choreography of the fight scenes in this one was phenomenal. I thought, man, it was awesome. Yeah. I I didn't originally like the first one too much. It was just like too much British for me. You know, the comedy and stuff, the timing is a little different. But mm-hmm. the more I watched it, the more I enjoyed it. I came it, to like really like that movie a lot. Oh, yeah, I mean, that church scene where where they're just like killing a ton of people and mm-hmm. then like the main character gets kind of whacked was, was pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And pretty unexpected, which I thought was awesome. Yeah. Unfortunately, they brought that guy back in the second movie and it didn't make a whole lot of Sense. Right, exactly. I could have used more Channing Tatum in the second movie. I thought what little he was there was great. Yeah, but, no, he's uh, great. I, mean, I love the action, action in these movies. The villain yeah. fell off a little bit in the second movie for me. Yeah, no, and I that agree. little jungle setting or whatever was kind of odd. But this one is is I think way more kind of grounded than those other. No, movies. I, I agree. And I tell you what, man, it, you actually learn some history in this movie, right? Like in this movie, it starts out you know telling you that uh, Czar Nicholas, King George. Well, first of all, it's, you know this movie starts out in the turn of the century. You know, nineteen early nineteen hundreds. You know, World War One's getting ready to break out, and uh, you know, so it starts out showing Tsar Nicholas, uh, uh, Kaiser Wilhelm, and King George V, who turns out really in the movie portrays them all as close cousins. And in real life, they really are first cousins. You know? <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. I yeah. didn't know that. And I didn't. Then, uh, you know, we looked that up, and I was like, wow, I, I thought that was kind of like a made up thing right. for this movie. Yeah, and we, it yeah, came yeah, to be yeah. true. Well, so. We got the cars. That's kind of goofy how they made them all cousins. And I'm looking it up, and like, oh man, they really were cousins. <laughs> I was like, damn, yeah, some some good history learning there. Yeah, and what I like about this movie especially is there's some skin in the game from the good guys, oh, yeah, right? Man. Like yep. it's not one of these kind of Marvel movies where everyone makes it out and life is good. So, I mean, there's real risk in this. Oh, yeah. Well, and not only that, but it, it really shows you the danger in espionage too in war. You know, you get a real good feel for that about how, you know, the kind of kind of real danger spies are in and, 
And even, you know, for one character in this who really wasn't trying to be a spy, he kind of, you know, kind of almost turned himself into one and it didn't work out so well for him. So it's, uh, you know, I like, I like how they showed that, you know, they just how espionage was a dangerous game. Uh, what I like is this is an actual better spy movie than Mission Impossible, yeah. than James yeah, Bond, oh, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. I think I might even enjoy this movie more than those. Yeah, I agree. Those are, I mean, this movie gets goofy at points, don't get me wrong, but I like that. The good guys aren't safe, mm -hmm. and, and they always like kind of surprise you with some scenes that you don't really see coming. Right, well, and, then, and then there's some good comedy in there too, right? When he yeah. when he's talking to Jamon Honsu between Ray Fine and Jamon Honsu and just some of their characters, that you know, it, there's it's a good blend of comedy with the action and, and with the seriousness and, and the seriousness and, and the emotions exactly. too. So it blends. All that together pretty well. Yeah, I thought so. Exactly, man. There, there wasn't too much comedy. There was just enough. It all blended together, and it, and it all went right with the tone, right with the, with the tone during the time frame that the scenes were going on. So it was it was phenomenal. I, I really enjoyed how they did that. Like, I, I thought they put this movie together very well. Like the writing was great, the acting was great. You know, I mean, I, I would have liked to seen a little more action because you know we didn't see a whole lot in this movie. But the, the action we did see, like I said, it was it, it was phenomenal. I mean, you just it was scripted. It was uh, you know choreographed very well. This is a very fast paced. I love that. You know, I love the fast paced action with the sword fighting and all that. You know, they don't skip a beat. It's almost like watching John Wick with the guns, right? Except in this one, it's all sword fighting. You know, so I love how they did that. Uh, you know, even and they even go, they even do something you haven't really seen before that I don't recall ever seeing is they actually show you like the viewpoint from the guy looking down his sword, right? Kind of like you would see somebody looking down the barrel of their gun or something, you know. And they did that at a couple times in the scenes. I thought that was pretty cool how they did that. So I was, uh, I was enjoying that, man. I enjoyed the action a lot, and that trench warfare scene I thought was pretty cool. You don't oh, really yeah. see that too often in a movie. And, and, you know, it's it's not trying to replicate, like, an old-school fight. They, they try and bring new action into something old-school. So there's, like, right. trench warfare, but then they're meeting in the middle and going, you know, against each hand. other with, with knives and stuff. And that's pretty, like, unique. Never seen that. And they're trying to be quiet because they, they go, if, if one of us shoots each other, then both sides are just going to light us up. So I thought that was pretty unique. And then when they send off the illumination flares and stuff like that, I that thought that was, was awesome. just an awesome scene. Yeah, bro, scene. I agree, man. That was phenomenal. Like, I mean, great, yeah, great, great uh, just cinematography and all that, man. Just beautiful movie. You know, and like even uh, yeah, even the scene where you know Ray Fiennes is trying to parachute and just like him getting stuck in the plane it's showing, and just the way it's spinning out of control, and then and then there's even skin of the game there, right? Because when he breaks himself loose from the plane, he's like trying to dodge the plane because the plane's falling around where he's at, you know. So I mean, yeah, it's kind of awesome. like at that Indiana Jones effect yeah, where yeah, everything yeah. doesn't go according to plan, and I like that about it. You oh, know absolutely. What I mean? It's not like Mission Impossible where these guys are just doing crazy stuff and it works out perfectly yeah. like almost every time. Like these guys are kind of like fumbling their way to a certain extent through these missions and yeah. stuff. And that's what's cool. Yeah, no, absolutely. It was awesome, dude. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I've heard, you know, I've heard, you know, and read a little bit of, you know, bad reviews of this movie. And I don't understand. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I don't understand why, man. I mean, he's, he's got a lot of mixed reviews and. And just watching, I thought it was great, man. I was like, man, I don't see it's better than I expected. Yeah, it to way, be, so. way better than I expected. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I was expecting it to be a good movie, but then you know, as it's progressing, I'm just like, I was like, wow, this is a good movie, man, really good movie. I was a little, little nervous movie. about the World War One timeline because mm -hmm. that's normally not my thing, but this movie, the pacing was just good and everything like that, so it kept my interest. Yeah, and, and it stayed historically relevant, you know, to you know how things went down, you know, the the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand, you know, the the killing of the Tsar and his family, and you know, and all that stuff. So I, 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 I thought, you know, like I said, I had no idea they were all cousins. You know, we learned yeah. that out of the movie. So I, I was like, I even the dynamic between the main character and his son and all that going on. What did you think about that? Yeah, I thought it was great. You know, and, and it was, you know, because, he, you know, of course, he promises his wife, hey, I'll keep him out of trouble, keep him out of war. And, uh, you know, and as the son's getting older and he's, you know, he's becoming a man, he's like, look, Dad, you know, war's breaking out. I need to do my part. And his dad's like, no, you don't. I promise your mom, you know, that you're not going to do your part. So, you know, there's that dynamic between them of, of the father understanding. He understands where his son comes from. He was a warrior. You know, he got, you know, he got the, uh, the you know, the Legion of Merit or whatever the British version of that is, you know, that he got. And he got, uh, you know, and, and he's you know, he's killed. And he kind of explained to his son, look, you know, killing ain't what it's cracked up to be. You know, I've been there, done that. And, and I understand where you're coming from as far as wanting to serve your country. But I don't want you to go, you know, because I know at the end of the day, it's not going to be what you expect and it's not glory and honor like you think it is. And it's, you know, a lot of death and destruction around you and it you know, messes with your head, you know? So that's what I liked. It's not just your typical brainless action. It brings right. those like elements in that really kind of draw you in and oh, yeah. elevates it above like a mindless action movie, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, absolutely. I man. I agree. I mean, there was just, like I said, 
I don't think they could have written this movie any better. Yeah, you know, I thought the writing was awesome. Like I said, in the parts that I thought at the beginning it was goofy actually were real. You know, so, oh, they were cousins again. You know, I'm, I can't you know hit that enough. Like I had no clue, and I guess most people don't. That all three of those guys are actually first cousins. So, so the Rasputin scene, like, oh, that, dude, was, that was awesome. awesome man. The guy playing Holy him cow, was yeah. amazing. Oh, yeah, Reese Siphons, man, I mean, dude's awesome, dude. Yeah, that that those scenes were just. Oh yeah, man, I, I wanted like more of that guy actually, oh, but oh, yeah, like dude. the scenes he he is in, he he's oh, just they, awesome. they probably should have made him the main villain overall. He's definitely know? cooler than the main guy, but oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but what they what would they do with they what they do with him was well done. Was though, awesome. So. Yeah. I only make decisions when my stomach is full or my balls are empty. Oh, thank God dinner is being served. And I tell you what, that guy I don't think I've really seen him much. I'm sure he's probably in a lot of other British stuff. You know, the guy that plays the main villain. I don't, I can't even think of his name. But uh, he did a great job, man. I thought he was phenomenal. You know, yeah. I mean, just switching between his you know thick Scottish accent and his proper uh, uh, English accent, and just you know going back and forth, and just the role he played, and just the just the just the evil in his voice, man. You, he just sounded like a ruthless dude, you know. And you know, you can see his face until the end. But the whole time when this guy's talking, man, you're like, man, this is a ruthless guy. You know, I thought he did great with that. Yeah, and the kings, you know, the previous Kingsman movie have had good guys and important characters yeah. die, but. They kind of like die in out there meaningless meaningless ways. Where right. I thought this one did a little bit better job of that. Oh yeah, absolutely. So well, and and, more, and again, this one just kind of goes along with the lessons of war, right? It really just shows you, you know, that you know, hey, in war, man, it ain't all honor and glory. It's you know, there's a lot of skin in the game, and a lot of people die, you know, and, and a lot of families get you know broken up, you know, and, and torn apart because they're losing you know tons of family members during war. So. Yeah, this to me had that right balance between risk and like showing the the good guys as like yeah. pretty awesome characters at the same time yeah and i agree dude uh, yeah like i said i uh i, I was very uh, very very surprised with this movie uh, you know I, I you know like you said the second one wasn't that i mean it was good second one was good you know still good it was entertaining it. It was but entertaining. the story wasn't exactly quite great and this one story was way better way better i mean i was like wow this this is and that's the thing right when, when i said in the beginning this kind of you know blockbuster prequel that we'd like to see it, it was I mean, this is a kind of prequel for a movie or for a movie franchise that, that really does justice to the franchise. You know, it really shows you how this organization was formed and 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 the lives it took to form this organization, you know? So, yeah, I think yeah. if you're looking for like an action spy movie, this is pretty good. And yeah. uh, I, what do you think the negatives are in this? Um, I mean, I mean, there's some unrealistic, uh, you know, parts during like a whole, you know, uh, this, there's a scene where like they gotta climb this mountain and, and it's just uh, just one guy that's spinning the wheel to get the mountain you know to get the uh, what is it called the lift that goes up and down I guess and this guy's like taking damage like <laughs> it's not I mean he's getting stabbed in the leg and freaking stabbed in the arms and the he's chest he's your typical and, brute guy, yeah, guy yeah, I just, guess. yeah exactly I mean, he might as well be the Incredible Hulk in this movie man because he's like he's taking damage he ain't even feeling it man he's just ripping these things out just going to town on uh, on uh, Ray Fiennes I didn't really but, mind that of course like some of the action is unrealistic and you could probably yeah. nitpick that but. It didn't bother me personally. No, I mean, and it didn't bother me either. But, you know, if I've got to say there was some kind of goofy stuff in it, that would be one thing, right? Did it bother me? No, I thought that made for a great fight scene. You know, I was like, it was a great fight scene. But uh, I, the, the only negative I really have is the villain is like your stereotypical villain who's like killing people kind of mindlessly and stuff like that. And I'm not super huge in that, you know? Yeah. No, well, you're right. You, you, you know, it's funny because really his whole reasoning behind this, right, is he wants to get back in England for basically. You know, you know, basically just being overlords of the Scottish for hundreds of years or whatever. So in order to do that, he starts a world war. <laughs> so <it's kinda> like, <laughs> and the reveal right. of him wasn't that great. You could you could right. kind of see it coming. I was hoping for something a little bit more amazing there. Um, I mean, it didn't really bother me too much, but I would kind of place that in the negative because, like, if yeah. if they really did like surprise you with that, that would have added a lot to yeah, it. Yeah. Well, again, man, you know, we both thought it was McAvoy. We're like, oh crap! Yeah. <laughs> I, I like, thought it was man, McAvoy, what, but what like, there's one <laughs> character you kind of see coming, and like, you know, they don't really surprise you too much with it. So, yeah. at least I thought. Well, you thought you saw you saw that villain coming. You saw who it was going to be. Yeah, like in the early on, I'm just like, there's something shady going on here. Really, I didn't, I didn't catch that guy at all, man. That surprised me. Like when they when they revealed him, it surprised me pretty good. Oh yeah, I, I, thought, I was almost about to whisper to you, like this guy is really? something going on. There. Uh, okay, <laughs> all right, because yeah, no, nah, I, I, I didn't catch it, man. Like I thought they did a good job covering it up, you know, kind of like. Uh, was that movie we just saw Red Notice? You know, when you were like, "Oh crap!" You know, The Rock was a bad guy. You're like, "Man, didn't see that coming." Yeah. You know, I thought that they kind of interesting. Twist, yeah, but... I thought they kind of did it pretty well with this. Yeah, one that happened. didn't work that way for me. But if it did, I, I imagine that that makes it even better. Yeah, yeah so. I thought it was cool. So, what do you rate this movie? <sighs> man, I'm, it's up there, man. I'm debating between an eight or a nine here because I mean, 
I mean, really, how much bad stuff we had to say about it? It really wasn't Not much. Not much. I mean, these, these there's very bad, little man. to me to complain about. No, yeah. Movie. I mean, you know, the, the, the parts that were, they weren't even bad. They were just a little unrealistic, right? Yeah. So I, yeah, I'm sure, like, you could pick apart the swordsmanship, the weapon right, usage right. to a certain extent. There's some explosions that probably should have done more damage than that. But, yeah. you know, it's not too long after that that they they show you, like, real risks. So that oh, yeah. turned it around for me a little bit. Oh, yeah, so. absolutely, man. No, I mean, it was just fun, man. It was fun. You know, fun battle scenes, man. Fun fight scenes. So I'm, I'm going to give it a nine, man. Wow. Let me give this movie a nine. It was, you don't give those out too often. No. Nah, it was. It, 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 funny thing is, lately, we've been giving them out a little bit, right? Late, I've been surprised at movies lately. Like, past couple of months, there's been some decent movies that have come out. And good movies, you know, whereas, like, the past couple of years, it really hasn't been. I mean, you and I have rated stuff pretty low, you know, or, medi- or mediocre, mediocre, you know, quite a bit. You know, there's probably, a lot of sevens out yeah, there. Yeah, a lot of mediocre movies. There haven't been a lot of higher rated movies, but recently there have been, and we've been rating pretty well. And this is one of them, for sure. Yeah, as I was thinking about my rating, I was torn between an eight and a nine as well. Yeah. And I just don't know if it's quite a nine. I would rate it a high eight. Um, yeah, that's fair, man. But it's a good movie for sure. Oh, yeah, and, phenomenal. And, and it's a good movie for the Kingsman series. And now I'm, I'm yeah. back in it looking forward to seeing where they're going oh, next. It, exactly, it. man. Right there, man. I'm right there with you. Because after the second one, it was kind of like, okay, a lot of good action and stuff. But the story wasn't that great. And then this one just sucks you right back in, right? Just sucks you right back into the Kingsman. You're like, all right, now, now they got me going again. And this has some of that action and a little it has a little bit of that panache camera action that you would mm-hmm. kind of expect to see in the matrix and this movie is kind of doing it more than what oh, that movie dude. did well me. i mean all the action in this movie was way better than the matrix you know like when we talked about the matrix it was just so slow and sloppy and this man it is fast paced and just i mean just beautifully choreographed right especially the rasputin scenes where he's dancing around and spinning oh, yeah, that and all nice. that man was phenomenal like this movie blows the matrix away as I mean, especially you know especially as far as uh action scenes go you know i mean I mean, I don't think there's too many movies out there right now that could probably compare to this. Yeah, I was thinking The Kingsman is kind of doing what you would expect The Matrix to be doing. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. But, uh, yeah, great movie. And, and, hey, and and seriously, uh, this one, I would recommend seeing this in the theater. Right, I thought that was a great scene on the big screen. You know, I, I mean, I, I enjoyed I would, it so absolutely. Highly recommend seeing this I, I one in the theater. I kind of feel like this movie's theater. a sleeper and going kind of yeah. notice, especially with Spider Man and the Matrix out oh, yeah. there. So and yeah. and yeah, I enjoyed this one a lot. I, agree, I don't man. know if it's quite up there with Spider Man, just because you know what that movie did, but right. this movie is very enjoyable, and I would place it up there with like a lot of Marvel movies oh, and stuff like I, that. Above some of them, in fact, For you know, sure. absolutely, man. But especially the the recent ones. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, hey. check it out if you get a chance. If yeah. if you're a fan of the series, then don't pass on this one. I would say no, definitely don't pass on this movie. If you're a fan of the series, you will be very surprised and pleasantly surprised with this movie. So, hey guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, hit like and subscribe. And uh, hey, please let us know what you thought about. It. You know, let us know what you thought about all these British actors. You know, it's, and, and we haven't had a movie like, like this in a while. It's got all you know tons of British actors in it. it just Not that I've seen, so. yeah, it's been a while. So hey, let us know what you think about the movie. And uh, like I said, hit like and subscribe. And we'll check in the next review. See you guys. It's a good movie. That's right, everybody. This is a kind of blockbuster pre blockbuster. Black Bruster. It's an interesting twist that the, you, you expect him to be into the boy. <laughs> he's into the, he's the boy. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome, dude. He's like, switch places with your father. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like he Rasputin all licking and sucking on his leg and stuff. He's yeah, like, oh my like, God, oh my God, it works. My leg works. <laughs> licking on Ray Fine's leg and stuff. He's like, he's like, blah, blah, he's like this blah, better blah. not be a real leg. Just give me a big leg. I'll do whatever you want. Right, right. James Bond doesn't even right. do spy stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. world's greatest spy who doesn't spy. <laughs> <laughs> what is this guy doing? It was James Bond. Avoid him like half the right, time. Right. <laughs> so that was a good little way for them to a little distraction, man. A little magician's kind of distraction, right? Yeah, focus on the case and don't really. Realize Wait a minute, though. So they they tried to fool that. you with that. Yeah, yeah, they, they did. tried to fool you with that. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to talk about the goat, man. Probably goat. Yeah, no shit, dude. Goat <laughs> was the, awesome. Whatever the hell he was. Yeah, that goat was awesome, man. Holy crap. Are we going to see a prequel with the Statesman now? Yeah, they.